Dear students, welcome to NIOS studio. Today, we will be discussing about Sarva Shiksha Abhiyan intervention in school. What kind of intervention is being done by Sarva Shiksha Abhiyan in our school system? As you all know, Sarva Shiksha Abhiyan or we call it as SSA is a government of India's flagship program for achievement of universalization of elementary education. So the basic purpose of SSA is to attain or to achieve universalization of elementary education in India. SSA was launched in 2001. It is a tool to implement right of children to free and compulsory education act 2009 which came into force in April 2010 was a, was a continuation of the SSA in a way we can say that a right to education act in 2010 was continuation of SSA program which was implemented in 2001. Let us look into right of children to free and compulsory education act 2009. The act actually makes education a fundamental right. A fundamental right of every child between the ages of 6 and 14 and, and specifies minimum norms in elementary schools. So two important factors we have to notice when we talk about a right of children to free and compulsory education act. First of all, it was implemented for attaining or achieving universalization of elementary education. That means to provide free and compulsory education of children of 6 years to 14 years of age. And at the same time, when it ensures free and compulsory education to the children of 6 to 14 years, it ensures certain minimum essential quality norms to be available in an elementary schools. The state shall provide school in the neighborhood within three years from the enactment of act, enactment of the act of 2009, right to education. Children in every habitation will have access to primary school within a walking distance of 1 kilometer and to upper primary school within 3 kilometers. And we all know the vicinity of the school and habitations was an important issue that we have faced in India. Often in older cases, our children, our students who wanted to attend schools would have to walk up to more than 5 to 6 kilometers. In some cases, children has to cross the river and attend a school. And in all these cases, it was very difficult to retain the, the, the attendance of students and to, and to control the dropout of students in schools. Realizing this difficulty, the right to education has insisted that a primary school must be available in one kilometer distance. And a pr upper primary school must be available in three kilometers of distance of every habitats. Right to education bill is implemented in partnership with state governments to cover the entire country and address the needs of around 192 million children in 1.1 million habitations. So you will be able to understand the, 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 the length and breadth of this program. Sarva Shiksha Abhiyan helps schools facilitate which do not have sufficient classrooms, drinking water, toilets, etc. So the basic purpose, one of the most important purpose of SSA is to provide basic infrastructure for the schools to maintain a minimum quality. And also it wanted to increase the enrollment of the students in every primary schools. Additional teachers are provided to those schools which do not have sufficient teachers. This was also an agenda of uh, Sarva Shiksha Abhiyan, providing additional teachers where teacher, teachers are lacking. They are also given in service training programs, grants for developing teaching learning material, etc. under the SSA. So SSA provided in service training program. SSA has the provision for providing training for the teachers to be more proficient in their subjects, to be more proficient in their pedagogy and methodological activities and also it provided teachers and schools support for acquiring and for procuring teaching learning materials, laboratory materials and several other materials which are essential for successful and high quality teaching. 
സർവശിക്ഷ അഭിയാൻ സിക്സ് ടു പ്രൊവൈഡ് ക്വാളിറ്റി എഡ്യൂക്കേഷൻ ഇൻക്ലൂഡിംഗ് ലൈഫ് സ്കിൽസ് ഇറ്റ് പ്രൊവൈഡ് ലൈഫ് സ്കിൽസ് ട്രെയിനിങ് ഫോർ ദ സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് ആൻഡ് ടീച്ചേഴ്സ് ഇൻ 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 എലമെൻ്ററി സ്കൂൾസ് എസ് എസ് എ ഓൾസോ ഹാസ് പ്രൊവൈഡഡ് എ സ്പെഷ്യൽ ഫോക്കസ് ഓൺ ഗേൾസ് എഡ്യൂക്കേഷൻ ആൻഡ് ചിൽഡ്രൻ വിത്ത് സ്പെഷ്യൽ നീഡ്സ് ആസ് വി നോ ദീസ് ടു ആർ ടു ഡിപ്രൈവ്ഡ് ടു ഡിപ്രൈവ്ഡ് സെക്ഷൻസ് ഇൻ അവർ സൊസൈറ്റി ഇൻ മെനി ഓഫ് ദി സൊസൈറ്റീസ് മെനി ഓഫ് ദ കമ്മ്യൂണിറ്റീസ് വി ക്യാൻ സീ ദാറ്റ് ദ ഗേൾസ് എഡ്യൂക്കേഷൻ ഈസ് നോട്ട് എ പ്രയോറിറ്റി ലൈക്ക് ദ എഡ്യൂക്കേഷൻ ഓഫ് ദ ചിൽഡ്രൻ ഇൻ സച്ച് കേസസ് ദ എസ് എസ് എ ഹാസ് ഗിവൻ എ സ്പെഷ്യൽ അസിസ്റ്റൻസ് എസ് എസ് എ സീക്സ് ടു പ്രൊവൈഡ് ക്വാളിറ്റി എഡ്യൂക്കേഷൻ ഇൻക്ലൂഡിംഗ് ലൈഫ് സ്കിൽസ് ഫോർ അവർ സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് ആൻഡ് ടീച്ചേഴ്സ് സൊ ആസ് വി ഓൾ നോ ലൈഫ് സ്കിൽ ഈസ് എൻ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് സ്കിൽ വിച്ച് ഈസ് എസെൻഷ്യൽ ഫോർ സക്സസ്ഫുൾ ലൈഫ് ഇൻ ട്വൻറ്റി ഫസ്റ്റ് സെഞ്ച്വറി ഓൾസോ വി ക്യാൻ സീ ദാറ്റ് എസ് എസ് എ ഹാസ് സ്പെഷ്യൽ ഫോക്കസ് ഓൺ ഗേൾസ് എഡ്യൂക്കേഷൻ ഇൻ മെനി കമ്മ്യൂണിറ്റീസ് വി ഹാവ് വി ആർ കമ്മിങ് അക്രോസ് ഇൻസ്റ്റൻസസ് ത്രൂ ന്യൂസ് പേപ്പേഴ്സ് ആൻഡ് അതർ മീഡിയാസ് വെ ആർ എഡ്യൂക്കേഷൻ ഓഫ് ദ ഗേൾ ഈസ് നോട്ട് ബീൻ ഗിവൻ പ്രയോറിറ്റി ഇൻ മെനി കോർണേഴ്സ് ഓഫ് ഇന്ത്യ സോ എസ് എസ് എ അഡ്രസ്സസ് ദിസ് പർട്ടിക്കുലർ ഇഷ്യൂ ആൻഡ് ഓൾസോ ദ എഡ്യൂക്കേഷൻ ഓഫ് ദ ചിൽഡ്രൻ വിത്ത് സ്പെഷ്യൽ നോട്ട് ഓൾസോ ദ എഡ്യൂക്കേഷൻ ഓഫ് ദ ചിൽഡ്രൻ വിത്ത് സ്പെഷ്യൽ നീഡ്സ് ആൻഡ് വി നോ മെനി ചിൽഡ്രൻ ആർ ഫേസിംഗ് ഫ്രം ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് ഡിഫിക്കൽറ്റീസ് ആൻഡ് വിച്ച് വി കോൾ ഇറ്റ് ആസ് ചിൽഡ്രൻ വിത്ത് സ്പെഷ്യൽ നീഡ്സ് ദ കൻ ബി ഡിസേബിൾഡ് ചിൽഡ്രൻ ആൻഡ് ദെൻ ചിൽഡ്രൻ വിത്ത് ലേണിംഗ് ഡിസബിലിറ്റി ആൻഡ് മെനി അതർ ഇഷ്യൂസ് ആർ ദർ സോ എസ് എസ് എ പ്രൊവൈഡ് എ സ്പെഷ്യൽ അസിസ്റ്റൻസ് ആർ എ സ്പെഷ്യൽ ഫോക്കസ് ഈസ് എസ് എസ് ഈസ് ഹാവിങ് എ സ്പെഷ്യൽ ഫോക്കസ് ഫോർ സപ്പോർട്ടിംഗ് ദീസ് ടു ഡിപ്രൈവ്ഡ് സെക്ഷൻസ് വൺ ഈസ് ഗേൾസ് എഡ്യൂക്കേഷൻ ഓഫ് ദ ഗേൾസ് ആൻഡ് ദ അതർ ഈസ് എഡ്യൂക്കേഷൻ ഓഫ് ദ ചിൽഡ്രൻ വിത്ത് സ്പെഷ്യൽ നീഡ്സ് എസ് എസ് എ ദ സ്ട്രെങ്തൻസ് എക്സിസ്റ്റിംഗ് ഇൻഫ്രാസ്ട്രക്ചർ ഇൻ ദോ സ്കൂൾസ് വിച്ച് lacks infrastructure and other basic needs for our children so in this way hsa is giving a magnificent support to the education system of our country so let us look into the ways of hsa intervention in schools different different ways how hsa makes its intervention in schools the interventions made by hsa for development of school system can be listed below if you look into the slide first one the state should establish one primary school within 1 km of every habitation so this was an important suggestion of ssa so this has created magnificent change in the support of uh, children who are coming from remote habitations so every school every 1 km uh, uh, one primary school must be available from a distance of every ssa directs that state should establish state government should establish one primary school within 1 km of every habitation which means that if you are living in a particular habitat or in a particular community from your from your locality there must be a primary school within 1 km of distance so that children can easily walk and get into their schools access education quite freely without much kind of difficulties and second the places where education guarantee scheme centers are running they may be upgraded after successful running of 2 years so there were certain schemes which were running in our society for example education guarantee scheme a scheme which guarantees education of the children in particular locality in particular community so these centers of running these centers uh, uh, were advocated were recommended to be upgraded Uh, after su- successful running of 2 years and another important uh, support by ssi is that every primary school will have at least two teachers with the provision that there would be two classrooms with veranda to every primary school this was a wonderful suggestion by ssi direction by ssi because in rural india we have seen that there were schools with only single teacher there were schools which doesn't have a permanent building structure so in all these cases ssa provided financial support and it has become a magnificent support for the school system in india another important uh, uh, intervention of ssa is that it directed that a room for every teacher in up, in primary and upper primary schools should be provided uh, wherever possible and then again we have seen that ssa has suggested a room for headmaster in upper primary school or section 
to facilitate the working of the school. So, it altogether we can see that SSA has given extensive support in increasing the infrastructure which is essential for the functioning, material functioning of the, of the schools. And then when we look into the academic side, we can see that SSA has insisted uh, for, for, the, for the availability of textbooks and other we can see that SSA has insisted for the availability of textbooks and other learning materials which are essential for the academic functioning of a school. Textbooks are still the backbone of teaching learning at any level of education. Provision of free textbooks to all girls, SC and ST children at primary and upper primary level with an upper ceiling of Rs 150 per child has become a provision of uh, SSA. So, this provision of SSA has become a great support for the children who are coming from scheduled caste and scheduled tribe community and also for girls children who are financially backward and who could not afford textbooks for their children, for their, for their education, textbooks for their education. Also, SSA directs that state to continue to fund free textbooks being currently provided from the state plans. So, in this way, SSA has given a magnificent support for the children to provide free textbooks. To a great extent, this support has, be, has been proved as a, as a wonderful benefit for the students in our schools. And TLE should be explored as per, the, as per local context and need. Uh, financial provisions under SSA for teaching learning resources is rupees 10,000 per school. Procurement is through uh, through teaching learning equipment. Teaching learning equipment should be explored as per local context and need. So, this is true that we cannot uniformly suggest teaching learning equipments across the nation. So, it has to be explored according to lo local needs. It can be made according to the local availability of resources and improvisation also are possible. So, financial provision under SSA for teaching learning equipment is rupees 10,000 per school. So, this is a wonderful amount, good amount for uh, procuring teaching learning equipments and for, for supporting the production of teaching learning equipments at local level. Procurement of teaching learning equipment is through the involvement of teachers and parents and village education committee school and also school management committee. So, that means that the community involvement of, uh, of uh, the uh, different agencies in community is being ensured by the Sarva Shiksha Abhiyan in providing an academic and administrative and a managerial supports to the schools. A school involves the building as well as we have already discussed. To control the expenditure on civil works, a ceiling of 33 percentage of SSA program funds is provided for improvement of school facilities and BRCs or CRC construction. BRC means block resource center, CRC means cluster resource center. So, SSA has ensured extensive support for the construction of building, maintenance of building, construction of building for the block resource center, cluster resource center, etc. Infrastructural plan is to be done at district level so that expertise is provided to optimize resource planning. So, also SSA did not ins insist for a centralized support. Uh, instead, SSA provided a district level support so that more resources, human material and other resources can be drawn from local area for building up of schools. To avoid misuse or misappropriation of funds, besides construction uh, and repairing of the building, uh, uh, the SSA has ensured community participation like school management committee, village extension committee and parent teacher associations and several other agencies are being used by SSA are being mandatorily or being, are being considered by SSA Sarva Shiksha Abhiyan to ensure that fund is been properly used, proper effectiveness of the money spent is been done. All this been done through uh, proper community participation. A running grant for teachers and for schools is provided for meeting the repairing of equipments. This is important support because in many cases when an equipment is damaged or, or it wanted to be repaired in our government system, we have to go through several difficulties. In such cases, SSA provided 
and additional assistance for repairment of the equipments. The amount is rupees 2000 per year per primary and upper primary schools which is to be spent only by village extension committee and school management committee with transparency and utilization. As we have already seen that SSA was trying to implement the primary education and universalization of the elementary education with the support of the community agencies, community participation. All money which has to be spent for repairing has to be spent with a monitoring of the village extension committee or school management committee wherever is applicable. Similar transparency in utilization is expected from teacher grant rupees 500 in one academic session. SSA has given lot of attention to provision for disabled children and financial provision of rupees 1200 per, chil per child for integration of disabled children. As we have already seen that SSA has special care for children with special need and girl children. In case, of, uh, in case of children who has disability uh, in some form, SSA is providing Rs. 1,200 per child for integration of the disabled children into the mainstream. Other district level and resource institutions to be encouraged to participate for education of disabled children also is been promoted by Sarva Shiksha Abhiyan. Let us conclude the discussion. We have seen the formation of SSA and its background of Right to Education Act and so on. We have seen the, the, the key purpose and objectives of Sarva Shiksha Abhiyan and the way SSA interfere in our school's functionings and the, and the support SSA providing to our school system cannot be ignored in the history of Indian education system, in the history of Indian primary education and universalization of elementary education. The support provided by Sarva Shiksha Abhiyan can never be forgotten. With this, I conclude this session. I wish you all the best. Thank you all.